Marriage, man. That's kind of scary. I'm currently dog sitting and also my cat is somewhere back there. These two do not get along. Like, careful. Like, don't do it. Don't. I'm scared. Melo just randomly came out of nowhere. Hell not. I need you guys to chill. <sighs> Stay back. I think it's very healthy to reflect on the fact that I'm getting married. Marriage, man. That do be a lifestyle change. Now, this is kind of the first time that I'll, my life is really going to be changing because I've kind of only stayed in my hometown at my house when I was doing university. I only like left to Sask for like a few months. People always tell me that it's not going to be the same. Like when you leave your house and go live somewhere else, when you come back to your house, it's not the same. And I'm like, bitch. What do you mean? It makes me think about the fact that I am probably going to have a very different married life. And I think it's healthy to establish the ground rules before getting into marriage with the person you're marrying because you don't have to do things the same way everyone else has done it. There are certain things that you are going to have to compromise. And I already know this. Marriage itself is insane. Now, I'm a relationship galley. I'm very, like, invested already from, like, a young age. I knew whatever mate I would pick would be the one. So for that reason, I think marriage is maybe not as scary to me. But at the same time, it's just a huge change because I'm not going to be living in the house that I grew up in. Like, it's kind of weird. And then, like, thinking about kids. And I know I don't need to go so far ahead and think about kids. I'm already having an existential crisis, as you guys already know from my YouTube channel. Getting married and just having a whole lifestyle change is insane. Also, I'm a little bit of an introvert. I was a fake extrovert for a very long time in my life because I had to get a job and network and stuff. But now that I'm being who I actually am, I'm noticing I'm a little bit of an introvert. So it makes it very hard for Indian festivals and I get tired very easily. I am a little bit nervous about how I'm going to interact with everyone because I don't want to seem like a bitch because I'm a very nice person. It's just I get tired. I don't keep giving when I have nothing left. I think I'm learning to have boundaries and that shit doesn't really run well with brown people. So the actual wedding ceremonies, that's stressing me out a bit too because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. I have like a few more months of being single. I'm gonna be a married woman. <laughs> How do I feel about that? I don't feel like I'm mature. <laughs> it's just I like to go with the flow and I don't like to take shit so seriously because at the end of the day, we're on a floating rock. I'm thinking a lot about this and I usually don't think a lot about stuff like this and I'm just talking about it because I think it will help other girls, especially if you're brown, like just hearing another brown girl talk about this stuff so that you know you're not alone. Another thing I'm noticing a lot, a lot, a lot that I need to warn a lot of people about is that a lot of people project whatever experiences they have had in their relationships or in marriage, they will project, just realize this, it's not like they're trying to be rude or they're trying to instill a fear it's just that they've kind of they have this own fear and their own issues and they're projecting it onto you your, your situation doesn't have to go that way i've also been lucky enough to meet couples and relationships in my life that are healthy and that are happy you might not like hearing this like i'm so sorry i know a lot of people are like yo you have to work towards love like you have to keep working towards it and I agree. I've been in an eight year relationship so far. Like I know you do have to keep working through it. It's not like all fucking high, but you have to be able to go through the downs and the highs with each other and keep choosing each other. You have to keep choosing each other and you have to make sure to check yourself. See, am I being a bitch? You learn so much about yourself in a relationship, which is also another reason why I'm excited for marriage because I feel like I'm gonna learn so much more about both of us, me and Adva, and it's just gonna be amazing. So next time someone comes up to you and shares their or projects their fears, honestly, just listen to them because it might be something valid and then understand that that's just a piece of information that you have and not to get scared and internalize it. I'm manifesting this for all of us, by the way. Let's talk about the honeymoon phase. The honeymoon phase can come back to life, okay? When you first start dating someone, your entire life is like surrounded by them. Like you're just, your entire focal point is just them. Then comes a phase where you start bickering, you start fighting and like, it's just like, oh my God, you get mad at each other for taking away each other's individualism. And sometimes this is where, not sometimes, most times this is where relationships fall apart. Communicating 
is the answer. Sharing the deepest, darkest parts of your soul is the answer because guess what happens after that? Your honeymoon phase is back in check, baby. And also, I know I'm not married yet, but I I have been in a relationship for eight, eight and a half years. So I think I have a, like enough experience to share this. I'm very excited though to set up my own kitchen, my own living room, my own space, because I think as women, it's very important to set up your own nest it's like an instinctual thing that we do as animals as mammals like we need to set up our own hive we can't go into another hive we need to set our own up and that's beautiful because when you have your own space you have so much more love to give to everyone else i've been living at home this whole time i didn't when i even when i did move out for school it was like for only a few months, I didn't really decorate anything. It wasn't really my home. So I'm excited for that. But also marriage is kind of scary because every everything that's been the way it is right now is not gonna stay the same, if that makes sense. That's not all negative because that means that there are portals opening up to new experiences that I could probably make. And I'm choosing to focus on that because if I don't choose to focus on the positives, then I'm only gonna gravitate towards the negatives. It's literally like manifestation. It's like a law, like blah, blah, blah. And that's what we all should do. So if you're someone who is just, I don't know, thinking about getting married or just pondering the same shit, these are just my thoughts on it. And I really think it's important to talk Talk about things and also stay positive and also just let yourself sit with your feelings like sometimes i just cry and it feels good to cry and it's okay to cry and it's okay to feel sad that you're leaving your family don't feel guilty that you're crying that you're getting married bro you're literally leaving your it's like leaving an identity and going off into the world it's like you're going off and sailing off to an infinite ocean and it's a beautiful experience it's gonna be great but you're obviously gonna miss your island it doesn't mean you can't come back to the island it's just you're setting off on your own it's it's actually so beautiful wow wow Okay, I'm glad I filmed this video. I feel better about it. I was just sitting here in my head like, oh my god, I'm getting married. The f Thanks guys for listening. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you do enjoy <laughs> if you do enjoy content like this, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Much love to you all.